Today's video, we're gonna talk about how to see my Google Ads running, the tips and tricks to be able to self audit your own ads, whether that they are actually showing on Google, or whether they're not. It's obviously nice to be able to see the ads for yourself when you go on to Google and you search for your own keywords. The problem is, and everybody has this problem, is they don't get to see those ads very easily, especially right up front when you're a new advertiser or have a, or have a new campaign running. There's several reasons for that I'm gonna go into in detail on this video. But more importantly, I'm gonna talk about how to actually make sure you can see them, what you can do to, that'll give you the highest chance of self auditing so you can see your own ads running on Google. For sure, just because your ad doesn't show up on Google does not mean you cannot make money, lots and lots of money, or that's necessarily a bad thing. You gotta understand how Google system works, why Google runs the way that it is, and not get too much bent out of shape because you don't see your own ad running on the Google search platform for your business, for your keywords that you're supposed to be showing up for. I am Corey Zyman, owner of Guaranteed PPC, a online advertising agency that specializes in guaranteeing results for their clients. We do not take a management fee until we get them, our clients, a certain minimum lift in the profitability of their ads up front, and we are the only agency on the planet who offers any guarantee of the such. The reason why we're able to do this, of course, is because I am the key strategist at the firm and have 20 years of advertising experience to be able to deliver these kind of results and slash guarantees to our clients. So that should tell you something about the quality of the information you're gonna get shared with you on this video. So with that said, getting into the content here, if you do want to actually see your ads here, typical way that use or do to see your own ad was something called the ad preview tool that you could find via your very own Google Ads account. You would go under the keyword status in the keywords menu in your account where all your keywords are listed. Then you would hover over the bubble. You would, there would be something there that said test ads and that's actually still there. 90% chance when you do that, particularly when you haven't advertised for very long. And when I say not very long, I mean not for years and years already in a situation where you have a decent amount of competition. The competition and the age of your campaign is actually both going to influence whether that tool will actually show your ad running or not. The idea of it was to have Google to have a way to show you your ad on Google without having to go to Google yourself stop people from doing that because it would mess up their own metric. And they know that their advertisers want to see their own ads, know they're actually getting what they're paying for. Through that test ad function, if you will, it would show you if your ad was showing on Google for that particular keyword, and you could do it keyword by keyword. Problem is, you do that nowadays and your ad doesn't show, even though you're getting lots of impressions, lots of clicks on that ad from that particular keyword, your ad still is not gonna show via that ad preview tool, of which is the reason why I'm making this video for you here today. So what do you do to fix this? If you use that tool, you don't see your ad. You use Google search, you don't see your ad. What can you do? People in the know have been using this new tool, which is separate from Google, so you can actually audit and see your own ads running on Google, and that is, the iSearch From tool. So you literally can go to iSearchFrom.com, just like it shows on my whiteboard here. And once you go there, you can actually type in your keyword and whatnot and hit enter and be able to see what Google will look like for that keyword search results and if your ad is, whether it's showing or not for that particular keyword. Okay, now there's some things that you have to know though to in order to get it to show right. So this video, I could, otherwise I could just cut this video off right here and you got the answer that you're looking for already. So I'm gonna give you what those tips are, but this I search from tool will let you actually see what your ad will look like on Google for any keyword that you want and any location that you want for that matter, either being in the US or another country, doesn't matter. You can see both your ads, your competitors' ads, and this tool is very useful in our firm, particularly just to see the ad running, yes. It's nice to be able to see the ad, how it actually shows up next to the other ads. Is our ad standing out? Because the ad stands out, we know we'll get a higher click-through rate, therefore more results from our ads. But where it's very, or should I say the most useful, is to actually see what our ad's gonna look like in other locations, not just our own location that we're physically in. So we're in Phoenix, we wanna see what the ad is gonna look like for somebody in LA. We use iSearch from, and we set our location settings to LA, and then we go search for our five access CNC machine that we're selling, and we can see what it looks like for an LA user versus a Phoenix 
Linux user. Or, you know, for local services, if you will, we'll run a campaign in another city. There's no way we can trigger that ad by searching on Google ourselves. So we'll go ahead and set our location on the search tool to the city that our client's in and that, you know, their service area is in and from where we're trying to run our ad, and it'll show us if our ad shows up or not and how it actually looks. With that said, you can use this tool. Go ahead and check it out, try it out for yourself. However, if you don't know the things I'm sharing with you that I've learned over the years and how to get this tool to work the correct way, you're gonna struggle with it slash not get the kind of results that you could get out of it if you knew these other tips. So you wanna keep watching in this video before you shut this off because it's very useful information. The tips that you're gonna use to get your ad to show. And the reason that, by the way, your ad is not showing on Google is because there's an algorithm driving the ads now. Ultimately, your bidding on a keyword is not like it used to be in 2005 when I started advertising on Google myself. You know, ultimately, if you bid on the five axis CNC machine, like I was referencing earlier, your ad would just basically show. And that was it. I mean, there's, it's a very like an on off type system. Nowadays, if you bid on a keyword, maybe it shows, maybe it doesn't. And it depends on who's searching for it actually, because all the ads are set up and the algorithm is set up to only show ads to users if it's likely those ads will help the user find what they want. And furthermore, if they think your ad will help the user because they want to optimize the experience for users on Google so they're more likely to click on ads in the future. Because if they just started showing the ad to everybody like they did before, people just immediately start blocking blocking out the ads as they go on to Google, and they're gonna get less long-term revenue from the ad spot on Google than they could otherwise. So their algorithm is seeing, okay, should we show ads? Should we not show ads? If we show ads, are people like not clicking on ads at a standard rate that they normally click on them? Okay, maybe we'll just not show any ads so that in the future, when we need them to click on an ad because we can make 50 bucks a click here, they're more apt to click on an ad there. The algorithm's deciding all this stuff in real time as to who should see an ad, if they should see an ad at all, how to optimize the maximum revenue out of their users on and going through Google by you know being more aggressive in this keyword and this type of search result versus not being as aggressive here to conserve attention. That's part of what they're doing. As they know that they really wanna show ads for a certain keyword and you're wondering why your ad doesn't show, okay, they are going to, once they collect enough data on you as an advertiser, they're gonna decide if your ad should show. So if it's early on, you may not show simply because there's long-standing advertisers that the algorithm knows that their ad performs very, very well, and they're gonna slowly test you out in the ad spaces there at the top of Google, the four ad spots, to see maybe your ad might be better than these four incumbent players that have been advertising for years. They're not gonna take a big risk on you, they're gonna maybe for 2% of the users, your ad's gonna show. And if it, your ad gets a higher click through rate than them and conversion rate than them, maybe they'll start to try you out at 3% of the people who, who search for that keyword you wanna show up for, then four. And then eventually it'll be 90% once a few months have went by slash a few thousand clicks have went by for that keyword. They know you're better than that competition and therefore you should be in that top spot versus the person who was getting it before. If you get past a few thousand clicks and you they find that your ad does not have the high click-through rate, does not have the high conversion rate, because frankly, a lot of people don't realize this, but in a competitive market, there's 15 people cycling in and out of those top four spots there. And if you don't cut the mustard, baby, you're not gonna get shown by the algorithm because they know other ads are helping their users more, which gets people to click on ads in the future more, they roll the red carpet really out to the people who are the best advertisers anymore. And if you're not gonna step up to the plate and offer something that's better, they're gonna give it to somebody else and they don't care if you come or go or stay or whatever. If it has been enough time for Google to really break in your ad, test it, if you will, and you don't perform, then your ad's also not gonna show. So that's the other reason why you wouldn't show. But certainly, you know, whether you show or not is predicated on your how long you've been doing it, how good of an advertiser you are. And then finally, there's another factor here, which is, you know, it's not an on off system anymore. Going back to the way that it was in 2005, you either showed for a keyword or you didn't. Now they take that keyword five access CNC machine and they subdivide the traffic on that search thousands of times to identify what section of the market does well when they see your ad or somebody else's ad. Because every product that's being pitched in these ads are catering to a slightly different type of consumer base. If you have your conversion tracking set up, right, or even if you don't, they still can figure a lot of this out on their own. They can identify, okay, 
Of the people who buy and when they show your ad for 5 access CNC machine, 17% really buy from the this particular keyword's traffic. So your ad should show up for them and not anybody else. And so the longer you advertise, the more they figure this out. Ultimately, they go deep on the user age, gender, household income, location, whatever, they're constantly doing this split testing to find out, you know, should your ad show, should somebody else's ad show. Therefore, you don't want your ad to actually show all the time. You want it to show for the buyers. They're gonna do that for you on their own with their system. Eventually, you'll have super efficient ads, but not till you've had hundreds of thousands of clicks on a keyword. So they find out exactly, exactly who buys within that keyword's traffic. So Google's not considering a keyword, just a keyword. They look at the user at the user level that searches for that keyword and identify what users want to see ads. And then of the ads that can be shown, which ads should be shown that's likely to do well with that particular user with this particular set of hundreds or thousands of individual unique traits. I know it's probably more information that you were probably wanting on this video about why your ad doesn't show, but there's legitimate reasons for it. You should know that. Don't panic or overthink it. You know, it's a system that's set up the way that it is, and that's how the system works. You set up the right ads, the right landing pages. You're going to get shown more once Google sees your ads do well. And then even then though, it's not going to show up all the time and you don't want it to because the system's going to find your customers for you automatically. But going back to the I search from tool, the way that you use this to get the best results possible out of it, it's never gonna be perfect, but first thing you're gonna do is use the tool and make sure you put a city name in the tool. So don't just put United States, put United States and Denver or Dallas or whatever you want really. If that does not get your ad to trigger, then you want to try it again. Same settings, just try it again. Sometimes it will take three or four or five times of searching for the ad to pop up, mainly because the algorithm has their own, like I mentioned, they're literally testing everything in real time. They're testing, should your ad show for this person who meets these traits or not show or show somebody else's ad. So if you get the, you refresh the page a few times, you literally, you know, it may just pop up because they're doing split testing. If that doesn't still get your ad to trigger, try changing the cities. Instead of Denver, try Dallas. Instead of Dallas, try uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Then if that doesn't get your ad to trigger, try just changing the keywords itself. I know that you want to see your ad show up for a certain keyword. You know, obviously a slightly very different variant of that keyword will get the ad to trigger. For instance, we just had it just recently. I went and used this tool for a drug rehab client of ours and drug rehab centers would not trigger the keyword. Drug rehab services would. So slight variant, we saw the ad trigger. Okay, now I have some way to show the client, hey, yeah, your ads are running. But And it's really hard to get into our client's skulls sometimes that you know, the ad's not guaranteed to show. Google never says it is gonna be guaranteed to show. We would love our ads to only show, but it's still up to Google whether they show it or not. Even if we tell Google we want it to show, it's up to them, really. I see people complaining a lot more even about shopping ads. Why is my product not showing? They'll show these items, but they don't show these items over here. Again, they don't have to show anything and they don't have any lack of customers who wanna show their ads, obviously. You gotta really realize that. The reality is, again, they're optimizing for their users first, not for their advertisers because there's always gonna be somebody who wants those customers, frankly, at the end of the day, unless you do something totally unique, right? With that said, they're going to see if your ad performs for a certain user. And if it doesn't, then they're not gonna show it. They're not gonna piss their users off just because you want them to do that. A lot of items, they don't have high click-through rates. And if you don't have a high click-through rate, stop showing that item at all on the Google Shopping space, whether you like to have it show or not. And that's a big reason why shopping ads don't show up, or should I say at least some items will show in versus and not others. Not only that, they are going to, for your budget, decide which ads should show, which shouldn't, because they're trying to optimize the most profit for you. And you may say, well, if they show these others, they would find out it generates profit. Well, the algorithm, it works in mysterious ways. Machine learning and AI does what you think is unpredictable and, and not logical. It has its own system to find how to get you the most profit the quicker, the quickest. And you can't fight that system. You can't change that system. You just have to roll with it. Eventually, if you run the ads long enough, those products will show. It's just frustrating for a lot of people that they don't see that those products show right away and they want them to show right away because they think that will work. And generally in that scenario, by the way, the best fix 
is to take those products out that don't show, put them in their own standalone campaign and run them just there. And that will fix things the soonest if you really want them to show right away. So you can change keywords to get your ads to show. That may not be like what you wanted to hear here, but too much, but. And then finally, you can use incognito mode on your browser slash change different browsers. And this actually helps a lot. We found this out recently. Why? Because of the algorithm situation. They think because you're on Google Chrome and you're this and you're that, the ad won't work for you. Whereas if you're on this browser, oh, suddenly the algorithm figures out and thinks you're the best prospect in the world for this ad to show, if you will, for this particular ad. So I explained all the algorithm and how all that works for a reason, because until you understand that this is all algorithmically driven, just like a Facebook newsfeed is algorithmically driven and they're deciding in real time what you should see is it should it be this or should it be this, you're not going to truly understand why the ad only shows sometimes. Hopefully that makes sense. If you don't know why your ad isn't showing, you still think it should show or show more, reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. I'll tell you what your issue is because there's some other issues that can come up. I don't have time to explain every last detail about anything or and also po possible potential fixes. But if you reach out to me, I can tell you what we can do, what we could guarantee for you in terms of results, that kind of thing. We also, by the way, have been selling ad templates. We've been running Guaranteed PPC for 10 years now. If we've already got the results that you're looking for in your niche market, you can take the winning ads, landing pages, campaign templates, all of it, copy paste it into your account and get the results we're getting already, of which we could tell you the results you would get with it up front because we're already getting it. We've worked in over a hundred niche markets before. So the chances are decent that we've already done all the work to figure out how to get to a decent ROI with what you're doing. And you could just cut out all the learning process. We got people using these templates to start whole other businesses, whether they're starting lead selling businesses, which we've had several people do, whether they're starting uh, e-commerce business, they didn't know how to do e-commerce. They took an e-commerce template to sell printer toner. And they sold it in a country that our client isn't in and they have turnkey results with it because it's already optimized. And we've been optimizing the ads for years in that space already. So you're cutting out all that wasted ad money that you would have spent to figure out what doesn't work already. Anyway, if you're interested in any of those other templates, you can also reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. Reason why I mention it is it's very, very popular recently. And so every time I mention it, we got people asking for the templates and other people don't offer these. With that said, I pretty much spelled out why the ads don't show and then what you can do to get them to show. You're not going to get them to show if Google still doesn't want to show them, but if they will show them a decent amount, if they were showing your ads 90% of the time normally, this will get your ads to show just to put things into perspective, generally speaking. And if they only were showing them 10% of the time, that is if you check your search impression share in your account, which shows what percentage of the time the ad shows for your keywords, then this may or may not get your ad to show, even if you refresh and refresh and refresh and all this. If you wanna know more about how to get Google to show your ad 90 plus percent of the time, because they really like your ad, they really like the landing page you're sending people to because it's helping their users out a lot and it's doing so more than your competition, which is really what your goal always is to do. If you're gonna expect to make millions of dollars a year running ads for your business, you should watch this channel and the information I have on it because it's coming from somebody who spends 40 hours a week just doing ad testing at our firm. And I give you all the information about exactly what works and what doesn't work. Therefore, it's useful. Most of the other information you're gonna find on YouTube and elsewhere comes from people that are just trying to sell a course. They don't actually run any ads or they run a firm, but they don't actually get any of their hands dirty. Therefore, the information's either completely useless or barely useless. Useless. So if you wanna really get the information from the source and you wanna really take seriously the job of trying to make millions of dollars a year running ads for your business, you wanna to subscribe to this channel and pay attention to it. You also wanna go ahead and check out the blog that I have at guaranteedppc.com slash blog. The blog has all of the strategies that we're using to guarantee results for our clients that laid out effectively there for you. So. People who usually like the channel, they like the blog as well. With that said, if you have any questions about anything I covered here, about using this tool, why doesn't the ad show? You can also, of course, leave me a comment in the comment section. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time. But with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. I think I covered everything I can cover about this particular topic and I can see you on the next one. Remember when I said keywords was important during this video? Well, this video here tells you how to do it.